Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It is Rusty Champagne here with you, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are here in the world of Kebab Chefs, a restaurant simulator. Uh, this game actually came out a couple of months ago. This game released on January 19th, and I'm just now getting around to it. Um, so I'm a little bit behind the eight ball. But I, uh, I had a couple of people who asked me about this, and I had actually seen this one a bit when it came out. And I was interested in actually playing it, but at that point in time, I only had my Mac, so I was not able to. But now that that has changed, now I can actually show this one off to you. So let's take a look at this one in case you have not yet seen it. So the description of this game is it's a co-op cooking and restaurant management game that can be played by up to four players. You can design your own restaurant, cook delicious foods, fill your menu with various recipes, feed customers, and become the biggest kebab restaurant in town. And that's a good thing. Um, and this came out with, uh, I th think there was just some new content that came out here pretty recently with this. So there's a sandbox mode. And I think that there's uh, also, I thought that there was maybe a campaign mode as well, but I maybe not. So maybe it's just a sandbox mode. Let's actually take a look back here real quick. Uh, let's see, so we go to settings. Um, no, nothing there. So it may just be that you have the sandbox mode and that is it. So, but it does have a tutorial. So we're going to go into there. So we're going to do a new game and we're going to go sandbox mode and we're going to be uh, the tutorial on and let's uh, get into this and see what we got. So like I said, I've seen a little bit of this, but not too much. Uh, yeah, I was still asleep, but I'll, okay, I'll come on down there. Um, how do we hang up on you? Uh, do we just hit E? <laughs> Is there anything else we have to do? Um, oh, yeah, E to, e to move on. That's right. Uh, all right, so we're, once again, it's another one of these things where we're taking over the restaurant from our dad. If it's not the dad, it's the uncle. So it's always one or the other. In this case, it's the dad. So we are going to hop out here. This is our fancy looking apartment. I remember seeing how fancy the apartment was. So yeah, this is kind of cool looking. Uh, it's apparently four o'clock in the afternoon, at least according to the clock, if you were to be believed, but it probably isn't. So we're gonna head out here and where's dad? Oh, there he is with the exclamation point over his head. Uh, same kind of movement controls. Uh, the mouse moves the camera around. Uh, tab brings up your tablet, WASD to move. And then the left shift does make you move a little bit faster. What's up, Dad? Mm. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I think I know what you called mm. me here. Um, stand on my own feet. Here we go. Uh, so we're going to take over the family restaurant and become mm. the best chef in the city. Um, I'm not impatient. You're, I'm just moving on to the conversation. That's all. All right. So here's a key. So we're going to grab the key. And we're going to head on inside. So here we go. In we go. And we're going to turn on the lights over here. Lights! Oh, that's from the other game. Okay. Uh, yeah, Dad, this looks like a dump. What's happened in here? Hmm. What have you done to me? Yeah, I know it's a total mess. Uh, well, who did you have run in this place before? Uh, oh, yeah, and of course you're an old man, so you can't help. I, I get it. So, okay, so we'll clean up. So do we just, uh, can we just pick it up? So what do we do? Do we right click on it? Oh, so we left click on it and then put it in there. Okay. So we got to get real close to it, pick it up with the left mouse button and then drop it into the trash. And now what else do we have? Um, oh, some more trash. Oh, so that can get cleaned by holding it. Okay, I see. And now we've got more trash over here. Just gonna hold it down, throw that in there. And we got one more piece of trash somewhere. There we go. <clears throat> there it is. All right, so we're going to get that all picked up. Now we got to clean some dirt on the floors and the walls. So we can just hold that nice and scrubby. And that takes care of that. We got another spot right here, nice and scrubby. And how about one more spot over here that's nice and scrubby? There we go. So hmm. we've done all the scrubbing. It is indeed a good beginning after all it's always important to keep your workplace clean i know right especially in a restaurant they really appreciate that now let's fix these tainted walls and floors what was that online store you were mentioning 
Uh, all right, so we're going to open up the tablet by pressing tab. We're going to go to the warehouse. And then we're going to go to surfaces. And we're going to change our tattered wallpapers. So we're just going to go with this free one because it's hovering over it in green. So we're going to go to the brick. And we're going to get the clay brick wall. And we're just going to slather on the clay brick wall. And we just got to kind of go over it. You can hold down the mouse button and strafe left and right, and it will take care of it. Now we're going to go to the floors, and we're going to do the plain brown floors. It's laminate. There we go. But it costs us nothing, and that's what matters. So we are going to... Uh, where do we need to fix this? So, oh, it's this section. Okay, there we go. Just that section looks kind of ratty. Now we got it. Nice and smooth, better than before. Now let's get rid of this broken furniture. Okay. So now we have edit mode. So if we'd like to edit a furniture or a station in a restaurant, we can switch from normal mode to edit mode by pressing C. While hovering an object in edit mode, you can reposition, send a storage or sell the object, and you should switch back to normal mode once you're done with edit by pressing C again. Okay, so we're going to go to edit mode, and we're going to bash this. Um, let's see. Uh, what do we do? So, oh, we want to sell it. So let's uh, cancel. Oh, that's not what we wanted. So let's try this one more time. And we're going to sell it. F. There we go. So we got nothing for it, which is what we would expect. And we got nothing for that. And where's our last bad piece of furniture? Is it this one? I think so. So we're going to sell that and we'll get nothing for it. It keeps getting better, don't you think? Uh, now we have the space we can fill it with brand new furniture. Open that store thing again. Oh, it's getting emptier. So that's something. So back into the tablet, and we're going to go back into the warehouse, and we're going to place a couple of tables. So we're going to go to furnitures and to tables, and we'll do a couple of two-seaters. So we're going to, oh, we can change the colors. Ooh, that's fancy. Uh, I'm going to go with the, uh, what do I feel? I am going to go with the light one. So we're going to do that. We're going to swing that around. You can use the wheel to rotate. So we're going to slap one there, and we're going to slap one over uh, here for the people that are feeling like they don't want to talk to each other. So there you go. Mm. One on each side. And we also need a sink and a counter. It's important to have some ground to work. Okay. So we are going to go to the counters, and that is, um, let's see, furnitures and counters. There we go. We're going to place a countertop. We're going to place that one that's flashing or either of these. Uh, two drawers or one? Let's go with two drawers. Okay, so the Carl B's drawer countertop. And we're going to place that right about uh, there, I think, is where they want it. Um, yeah, so we'll place it there. And then we're going to go to the stations. And we need a knife rack. So we're going to get a knife rack. And we're going to place that. And we'll throw that right up here, right about there. Get it nice and pretty. And now we just need some kitchen tools. So I need to go and pick up a package from the market. The owner of the place prepared it for me. I've known him for decades. You will be visiting his place very often. Okay, so let's do that. So let's go to the market. So I think we can hit escape to get out of here. And we will open the door. Look at all these fancy peeps in town. And then we want the market. And the market is uh, over here. So we're going to head on over here to the market. And yes, we are the new chef. And we haven't even walked in yet. And you're already greeting us. So, okay. We need to interact with the door as opposed to running into it. All right. We can always visit my always visit his place. We need something. And apparently we do need something. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. So we're going to take the box. It has a couple of mixing bowls, a couple of skewers, a kindling bag, and a coal bag. A couple of coal bags. And back to the restaurant we go. Do we need to close your door for you or will you do it? I'm assuming you're going to do it. Okay, there we go. Back to our own restaurant we go. And mm. in we go. So nice job, kid. You picked up a box. Way to go. So now let's get everything out of the box and let's get cooking. All right, let's do it. So everything out of the box. And I guess we can kind of set the box on here. So we're going to set the box there. Let's see. Um, oh, we can set it there. There we go. I got it now. So now we're going to hit F to take from the box. And we can just set all these things here. Now I get it. There we go. So where you place it on the uh, counter 
is where it goes. Well, you go in there. No, you're a skewer, so you do not go in there. So we're going to take you, set you down there. Okay, again, no, oh, no, don't take the box. Just take everything that's in it. All right, so we're going to set you there. And then we got some, uh, got some kindling. Set the kindling there and the coal bags, which we will set there. Mmm. Mm. He always says, mmm, whenever you do something. Here we have it, a decent small restaurant to begin chasing your dreams with. Well, they're your dreams. I'm just doing what you want me to do. Now let's get to the delicious part. Remember the recipe book I gave you? It's great to save them. They, they can save them digitally. All right, back to the tablet. And into the menu. Or no, the, yeah, the restaurant menu. And we've got some grilled beef. So we're going to bring that in. So we're going to have this on our recipe. And we can check the recipe details by clicking this. So we need a ribeye, and then we need to add some salt, some pepper. We grill each side. We transfer to a plate. And then we grill some tomato. We slice some tomato and add it to the plate with some parsley and serve it hot. Mm. And we will pin that. So we're going to need some ingredients, which means it's time to go shopping. So there are three local shops that you can buy from the grocery, the butcher, and the market where we just went. And he's known the owner lads for a long time, and they always have the fresh ones. It's good to have the fresh ones. So let's do that. So we're going to close out of here. And we're going to go to these places and get our ingredients. Okay, so we're going to then go to the butcher shop first. Stop there. How are you doing with your fancy shades? The butcher shop is right over here. Since 1976, it's the butcher shop. And we're going to get some ribeyes. So a ribeye chunk. And we're going to go to the cash register and going to buy it. Take the box and go back to the restaurant. So here we go. Ugh, right through you. We can clip right through you. That's good. And then now we are going to then go to the grocery. So we're going to just set this box down right about there. Because <clears throat> I don't think we have anything. Or can we put it? I think we can put it in this fridge. I did see this part. So we're going to put that in that fridge. Close the door. And there we go. And I could take it out of the box. I just didn't. So no biggie. So off to the grocery. Which is right across the street there. And we will go here. And from here we need some tomatoes. So five tomatoes. And one, two, three, four, five. And five parsley. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And off to the cash register. And that will cost us 45. And we will take this. And I'm assuming we are going once again back to our restaurant. And we don't have to close your door either, right? Oh, well, oh, we will because we're nice. There we go. Uh, Dad's still in there with the exclamation point over his head. So we're going to just keep moving. Um, it's almost time for me to eat. I hope my child can cook me a delicious beef. Hmm? Uh, I don't know. Have I ever made ribeyes before? Uh, you tell me. So we're going to set this over here. Okay. And now let's see. So we're going to take a ribeye chunk from the shopping box. So we'll take this out of here. And we will set it uh, here. And we're going to take from the box a ribeye chunk. All right. And then we're going to slice it probably here. So we're going to grab our knife. And then we're going to slice it. So I guess all we got to do is um, just kind of hover over it. There we go. That's all there is to it. So we're going to take a slice. We're going to put the knife away. And we're going to take a slice. And we're going to uh, add black pepper and salt to it. So we need the black pepper and the salt. So a little bit of black pepper. One, two, three. Oh, I think we had to go all the way through. There we go. And then some salt. So a little bit of salt. Got to hold it down until it records it. One, two, three. There we go. So we got that. We're going to take a cold package. And we're going to put it in the grill. So all in the grill you go. All up in your grill. And a kindling package. Also all up in your grill. Literally all up in your grill. And then we're going to ignite it. There we go. And now that's going to work its magic. So now we're going to take our ribeye slice. We're going to put it on the grill. Just like that. We're going to wait for the bottom side to cook, and we got that little indicator telling us when it is cooked. And then after we wait for it, then I guess we can grab a tomato. So I should probably grab a tomato out of here. Whoops. 
Uh, let's grab a tomato out of here and set you down because we're going to need that. So we got to flip that. Um, let's see. How do we flip it? Uh, R to flip. There we go. So we're going to wait for the ribeye slice to flip to cook completely. So it, it's important to take a look at the things on the bottom of the screen. So, all right, we're waiting for the ribeye slice. It is just about done. We're going to take a plate from the cabinet. There we go. Uh, we'll take this plate. There we go. We're going to set it down. And we're going to place the ribeye. And so, oh, it kind of went there. Uh, can we pick up the plate? Yes, we can. And, oh, I got to get the, the uh, tomato. So let's get the tomato. Can we put it on the skewer? Or let's see. Can we just put it on there? I guess so. Can we skewer the tomato? Yes, we can. And then we can put it on. All right. So we got the ribeye slice. We got the uh, tomato. So we're going to wait for the tomato because we need to grill the tomato. And then we slice the tomato. Okay. So we're going to wait for this. And then we're going to probably get dinged because we've got a now cooling off steak. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and so it'll be a lukewarm steak with our tomato. So, all right, we're going to take this. We're going to slice it up. Uh, nice little slices. Boom, boom, boom. All the slices go on here. That goes back in there. All of our slices. And it's uh, four slices. There we go. And is that it? Uh, what? Else? Oh, the parsley. So we need some parsley. There we go. Not a tomato. Um, uh, let's see. Can we? Do I have to just open everything up? I guess we do. Okay, so we're going to just all set all those there, and then we need some parsley. So now I think we can take a piece and another piece. So, okay, so there's one. Okay, that's it. All right, so then we take this, and now we, now we can put this on the serving counter, and this is where we finalize our food prep. And before placing a dish on the serving counter, make sure it is on your menu. That's important. Service counters will rate your dish depending on various fields. You can always remove the presented dish if the, on the serving if you're not happy with the result. That way you can make sure that you have the best outcome before opening up. Okay. So we're going to... Do I need... Oh, I guess we only need one parsley piece. I thought we needed more than that. But we're going to take this and we're going to put it onto our serving plate. So let's get that served. Um, yeah, it wasn't very hot. So that was the thing. All right, we're going to serve that to our first customer. Okay, Dad, try it out. Let me know what you think of it. Um, you better like it because this was your recipe. So let me know what you think of it. And if you've got any comments, keep them to yourself. Um, what is that all about? I do not know. Oh, that just means you're done. Okay, let's take your plate. And we're going to take the plate. I don't know why I left the refrigerator open, but I did. So let's close that. Um, I should probably take the ribeye, put it in there, and there. There we go. And now, uh, interact with you. Oh. Mm. Uh, let's see. After every satisfied customer, there will be a dish clean. You have to have clean plates. You have to use clean plates before you can use them again. What? We can't use a plate over if it's dirty? Why not? Um, okay. Okay. So now we're going to wash some dishes. Okay, so this should be pretty easy to do. So we're going to go over here to where we put the dish in here, and I, we're going to just hit E to wash it, make it look all nice and scrubby, and then we will take that and put it back into there. There. Oh, okay, so it, just, it, it gives you all the options. I got it. Um, as you may realize, there are many variables that define how good you run a restaurant. You may be good at cooking, but you also have to be fast, and you must always be hygienic. I'm going to have to take a shower every day? Jeez, Dad, what else, man? Mm. Um, I think you got, pretty much got the basics. You can make a beginning from here and go bigger as you move forward. Now flip that sign and let people know you're ready to serve. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to open the restaurant. Okay, are we ready for this? I think we are. The restaurant is open for your convenience. Uh, there you go. Don't forget to expand your menu. And remember that if you find yourself struggling to deal with customers, you can always hire some employees to help you out. Good luck. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I hope this goes well. We're going to find out. And you're just going to leave now, aren't you? I knew you were going to do that to me. So maybe we... Oh, let's collect this money. Oh, at least he left us some money, so that's nice. Um... 
and that's a 1.8 dish. I don't know how mm. good that is. We do have a few people in here, so does it tell us how many servings we have on here? It does not. So I don't know how many we have mm. to have. I feel like I should make some more, just in case. So I'm going to take this, uh, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put that on the skewer. I'm gonna set that there just for now. Oh, this gentleman is done. Okay, we'll take your plate and put it in the sink. There you go. And interact with you. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. And now while he's doing that, I'm going to get this other piece of ribeye out of here just in case we need it. I don't know if we will or not, but we're going to see. Oh, this gentleman's also done. Let's interact with you. Thank you. We'll take your plates. And do we still have some there? Uh, let's see. Is this empty now? This is empty, so we need to make some more. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. All right, so salts. One, two, three, and pepper. Uh, one. Oh, where's the pepper? Come on. Grab it. One, two, three. There we go. We'll put that in there. And now we're going to throw this on here. I know you're waiting for me. Let's grab that skewer. That's probably flaming hot. Um, I will have some for you in a moment, sir. Just one second. Let's interact with you. Take your plate. Take your money. Take the plate again. And now we're going to take the, uh, the tomato. We're going to also put it on here. There we go. And we're going to flip this. Yeah, we need to flip that now. And how is this doing? Uh, the tomato is currently cooking. Uh, we're going to get another plate out. And we're going to put that uh, right on there. So we're going to set that there. We're going to grab that. Put that on the plate. How about this tomato? Is this almost ready? We can grab a little bit of parsley. So we'll take some parsley, put it on the plate while we're waiting for our tomato. That is now ready. We're going to take that, slice it up. Uh, one, two, three. Perfect. That's going to go back in there. That goes on there. Let's take this, run it over to our serving station. Everybody's waiting. And what's this like? Uh, mm. 1.9. That's a little bit better. Oh, it's overcooked. Ah. Oh, well. We tried. Um, mm. And, of course, people can't clean up clean up their garbage. I don't know why. And apparently we also cannot pick it up. Uh, yeah, there we go. I, I tried, <laughs> but it wasn't letting us. Okay. You're happy. You're also happy. Oh, you're still eating. I should probably wait. You are done. Okay. Take your money. Take your plates. I'm going to have to do some washing of dishes here. So let's get some dishes washed. Because otherwise we're going to run out of dishes. And we don't want that. So we're going to take you, put you there. Are you also done? You are. Okay. Thank you very much. And now we'll take your plate, put it there. And we should have one more serving. We do. Perfect. And we'll get this all squared away. Get your dish taken care of. It sounded like Dad, but it wasn't. <laughs> it just made the same noise. All right, washing all the dishes, getting these all taken care of. There we go. Are you ready? No, you are still eating. Okay, that is perfect. We'll wash another dish, and we've still got one more dish in there. Uh, are you ready? Uh, now you are. Perfect. Um, All-star champions of football. That is good. <laughs> okay, now we're going to grab your plate. Now we can just take this plate in here. I left the refrigerator open again. I don't know why. I should really stop doing that. The day is over. Let's clean up and close the restaurant to finish the day. Okay. So we're going to wash all of our dishes. That is that. And uh, we have one more dish somewhere. And we have a radio that we can apparently change. That's a fancy set. Fancy tune. That was the opening tune. Hmm. We can go with that. So we'll do that one. Uh, and we have this dish. I guess we can remove that. Because I don't think that we can keep that there overnight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't leave our, our dish there overnight. I think people would be rather upset with us if we gave them day-old ribeye. All right, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, we're going to take these tomatoes and put them... I uh, actually don't have to put tomatoes in the fridge. They always say to not put tomatoes in the fridge. Although they do have a refrigerator sign on there, so I think maybe we should do that. So I'm going to take that, put that up there, and then I'll put these uh, up here as well. 
because it does show a little refrigerator sign on there. So that leads me to believe that we should would, that we should refrigerate this, even though I don't know if you need to. So we're going to put all this on here and we'll close that up and we'll pull our flaming hot skewer off of here. There we go. Set that there. Um, we need some places to put our mixing bowls at some point, but we're not going to worry about that. So we're now cleaned up. We're going to close the place up for the day. There we go. And uh, what else did we need to do? I guess now we can just go home. Um, I think so. We'll go ahead and turn off the radio. Can we turn it off? Yes, because we don't want to leave the radio on overnight. So there we go. The day one is in the books. We're going to turn off the lights. Going to close the door so no one comes in and robs the joint. And we don't have a name yet, so I guess at some point we'll get a name. But for right now, we're not going to worry about that. We are going to go back home and get some sleep, I do believe. Look at our fancy place. I've uh, got a nice shower. Man, that's a nice shower head. I really want one of those myself. Um, it's a small bathroom other than that, but yeah, that's a fancy shower. Okay, let's get some sleep. And hey, so now we're going to make, I guess, 120 every time we serve that. And um, so what does that mean? Uh, I don't know if it means anything else. So yeah, we just, uh, that's just the way it looks. Okay, cool. So we're going to skip that. So today we made 700. We spent 1,265. We served seven dishes um, and we served seven customers. And now we're off to a new day. It's a new day. Okay. Day two, getting ready. And we apparently have a recipe that we can unlock. So if we go to our menu, um, we can unlock chicken breast. Okay. So we can recipe, uh, we can recipe that unlock. We can unlock that recipe. So now we have to create a menu to open the restaurant. So we'll, we'll take the... Um, we'll take the chicken breast, we'll put it here, and I don't know if we have two different places to store things, so I think I'm just going to keep that like it is. So we're going to close that, and we're going to head out, take a real quick shower, because hygiene, okay, there we go, uh, shower is done, we're going to head on out, and who is outside? Is it dad? Oh no, who are you, sir, and what can we do for you? Mm. It's master. Uh, look what we have here. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? Mm. I've seen this place rise and fall before. That's weird. Um, you must be his kid. You, let's hope you're not. <laughs> oh, great. So dad was a disappointment. That's good to know. Mm. Um, I hope you know, understand the delicate nature of this industry. This is the culinary jungle. Only the strongest survive. Let's see if your little v with, uh, venture can withstand the heat. Mm. Get the gourmet authority's approval first, and then maybe I'll be willing to confront you if I'm in a good mood. What if I don't want you to confront me? What if I just want to do my thing in peace? Did you ever think about that? I just want to be the little corner restaurant that doesn't have a name yet. So mm. that's all. Um, good luck, newbie. If that's You're rude. You know that? You're just rude. I would like you to leave my storefront. Um, okay, gourmets are the food judges you have to overcome before facing the master. You know, different requirements, challenges to get a passing grade from a gourmet. You must first master the three dishes that they ask for. When you feel ready, you can invite them to your restaurant and try to beat them by making the special recipe they will ask you to make. Even if you don't get a passing grade at first try, you can invite them to your restaurant later again. Okay. So we got Juan. And if we look at Juan, he's got, uh, what does he have as his items? Gourmet. So he's got grilled beef. So we got to do 12 grilled beef, 8 chicken breasts, and 4 tomato soup. And we need a meat grinder and a Donner cooker and 8 recipes. I guess, maybe, huh? in order to do that. Huh. I agree. Huh. <laughs> I feel the same way. Okay, so let's go. So how much money do we have? $4,435. So let's go here. Let's, uh, huh. um, oh, hmm. you're the one saying, huh. Can we change our sign? I think we can. Let's go into our tab. Uh, let's see. If we go to the warehouse and signboard. Okay, so let's see. Um, what can we call this? Uh, let's see. Uh, text. And what kind of fonts? Let's find a nice fonts. 
What kind of font do we want? Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on fonts. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Uh, let's do Rusty Eats. And I think I need a bigger sign. Uh, maybe we need a smaller. Ooh, man, that's purple. Um, oh, orange. Definitely the orange. Where's the orange? That's what we want. And how do we do this? So this will do... Oh, that moves it up and down. Um, we can get different sign frames. So let's see. How about that one? That's fancy. That one's uh, just as fancy. So we'll do that. And we'll, so we'll buy that. So then how do we fix the uh, signs, the letters? So if we go here, that just rotates it. Okay, well, we don't want to rotate it. Um, do we want to fit it in there? There we go. That's how we do it. And oh, and that would flip it. So it would be stay Easter. We don't want that. So we want Rusty Eats. There we go. Um, did I buy another sign? I've got a feeling that I bought another sign. I don't know. Um, but there we got that. Um, so let's head on into our restaurant and stop spending money on signs. But look at that. Rusty Eats. There it is. We are here. Let's turn on our lights. And let's see if we can find ourselves a second uh, serving uh, platform. So if we go here, let's see, uh, furnitures, uh, surfaces, no. Uh, stations, uh, no. So it might be a furniture. Um, so if we look at these, so these are just countertops. If we look here, and uh, no, that's decor. So if I was going to be a, all right, so if I hit G to get rid of that, oh, uh, let's see, stands. Is that, no, those are like outdoor stands. Um, or is that special? No. Uh, so let's see, stations. So that's a garbage can. Um, is it one of these? I'm, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. I knew I was going to eventually find it. So a service counter. There we go. So we're going to take the service counter. We're going to bang it right into place right there. So now we can got two places to put dishes. And so now we can get two different dishes going. So in this case, let's see. If I wanted to do the, um, I want to do both of them. So let's take a look at what the chicken breast takes. So if we go back into our menu, so we got chicken breast and we got grilled beef. So we're going to put those both on here. We're going to pin We'll un can we unpin this recipe? Let's see. How do we pin recipes? How do I make that go away? Um, all right. So let's close this out. And let's go back in here and pin it. Oh, so we can pin one but not the other. Okay. So for this, we need a red pepper, a green pepper, a potato. And then we need to add that all to the plate. So we're going to have to get red pepper, green pepper, and potato slices and serve them hot. So we'll get a couple of chicken breasts, a couple of red red peppers, green peppers, and potatoes. Because it looks like it just says that we need one of each, and that's about all it's telling us. So I wonder, is there a way to... Because hmm, that, that goes very, very slowly. All right, so chicken breast, uh, red pepper, green pepper, and potato. But this thing it is really, really slow to move up and down. I wonder if there's a way to do that. Um, and I don't know what this G is on the controls, because that's not really working. So, oh, there we go. We can just go up and down with the mouse. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So we need some chili pepper, some chicken breast, um, some red, red pepper, green pepper, and potatoes. So let's go and get all that. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to close you up so no one robs us. And we're going to get some red peppers, green peppers, and potatoes. So we're going to go here. We're going to get a couple of each. So red peppers... And uh, green peppers are going to be over there. So we're going to get a couple of red peppers and a couple of green peppers and a couple of potatoes. So that way I've got enough for that. And then we need some, uh, that's going to probably be at the market. So we're going to then take all this and we're going to run this back to the place. I'll even shut your door. There we go. Uh, we're going to run this back to our restaurant, good old Rusty Eats. I'm going to set this up here. And we're going to put this down on this shelf down there. Going to get some chicken and some ribeye. And I've got plenty of tomatoes and I've got plenty of 
Oh, uh, I want the <laughs> I want the market first for the chili pepper. And then I've got to go to the butcher. Apparently, you didn't close your door. I'm sorry about that, sir. Um, let's see. Okay, we've got all kinds of plates, kindling charcoal. And we've got, uh, let's see. If I was chili pepper, I would be, oh, right here, a chili pepper spice jar. Perfect. We'll get one of those. Put it right here. Thank you. Yeah, because we just need red pepper and salt. Okay. All right, now we'll close your door. Uh, there we go. All good. Apparently, he will leave his door open for all time if no one out comes over and closes it. So now this just has the uh, the uh, spice in it. So let's take that from the box, throw that right in there. There we go. Now, once again, off. We are heading over to the butcher shop. We're going to grab some chicken. We're going to grab some ribeye. So a little bit of chicken breast and a little bit of ribeye. And we're going to get that all. And run this back to our shop. And then we'll see what we need to do. Because we can prepare all this and have it all ready before we get started. So let's take this out. So in this case, we need to... Let's see. Uh, we can... Uh, how can we just get to the point where we see the recipe again? Oh, now it's moving faster. Okay, that's interesting. Or is it G? Oh, G moves it up and down. Okay. So chicken breast, salt, chili, pepper, each side, and then grill a red pepper, green pepper, potato. All right, so let's get uh, let's get the chili bread. Let's get the chicken first. So can we take? Uh, all right, so we're gonna set the ribeye down and the chicken breast. So we're going to take the chicken breast. Gonna set it here for now. Gonna open this up. We're gonna get a red pepper, another red pepper, a green pepper. Another green pepper, a potato, and another potato. So I'm going to take one of each of you. So a potato, ooh, and I'll try to grab that. And a green pepper and a red pepper. And we're going to put those all on the skewer. And then we need a, um, we need what? The uh, uh, three salt and three chili peppers. So some salt, a one, a two, a three. And some chili pepper, and you are not chili pepper. You are a one, a two, a three. There we go. We'll put that back in there. Uh, we'll grab some more kindling, some more charcoal. So we got some charcoal in there. Got some kindling in there. And we're going to get that lit up. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to throw on our chicken. I'm assuming this is going to have to be on both sides. I would imagine so. Yes. Yeah, we'll probably have to flip that. Now we're going to take all this, put all this on our skewer, and we're going to just set this right here for now. Because so we're going to have to flip this over, I'm pretty sure. And will we? Yes, we will. All right, now let's take this. Whoa, I don't want that. Uh, you go on there, and then you go on there. Perfect. So, all right, so we got the potato, the red pepper, the green pepper. Those look like they'll all go about the same time. Going to pull you off of here right on time. There we go. Going to set you there. We're going to grab a plate. A uh, nice fancy plate. Going to set you there. And set you there. And then we've got uh, potatoes, red peppers, green peppers. And the potato has to be sliced. Okay, so we got a slice of potato. And everything else can come off. So there we go. Off you go. Off you go. You're going to get sliced, so we'll give you some slices. You're all sliced. You're going to, whoop, uh, go back into there. The slices go there. Aren't they fancy? A little bit of red pepper and a little bit of green pepper. There we go. So we got that. We're going to put this into our little uh, serving cloche. That's going to be the chicken breast. Hey, we almost did pretty good with that. No real criticisms. Now, let's get some ribeye going. So we're going to take the ribeye, grab this, slice it up. Uh, nice little slices. There we go. We're going to put you back in the rack. Put one of you back in the fridge. And we're going to grab a tomato, set it there. We're going to put you on the skewer and just set you back down. And we need some salt. One, two, three. I should have salted all this first. And some pepper. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. Set that back in there. Going to throw the ribeye on. 
Going to grab this flaming hot skewer and set it down. Going to grab this tomato and going to get it close. Grab another plate, so we'll go with one of these plates. Why not? And we're going to grab a couple pieces of parsley. One little skewer of parsley. Set you there. You are ready to be flipped over. We're going to throw the tomato on here. Boom. And then we will get the ribeye in just a moment. So just a little bit, and then the ribeye will be done. Tomato is going to take a little bit longer, so I know i got longer to do the more time than I need to. Oh, don't flip it. Just uh, put it on the plate. So I know I can do the tomato a little bit sooner. So i got to keep that in mind because uh, now I'm going to have cold steak again. And I don't want to cook it anymore because then it will be overcooked and no one wants overcooked steak. That's there, there are a few things in life worse than an overcooked steak. Okay. Uh, we're going to get this. We're going to get some slices. There we go. All the slices onto... Oh, uh, grab the knife, put it in the block, and the knife, the slices there. Put this in the cloche and serve that up. And, oh, that was actually pretty good. Good. There we go. All right. The restaurant is open for your convenience. Let's close that up. Let's get the uh, some tunes going. Some nice, fancy tunes. How are you doing, sir? What would you like today? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these mixing bowls, but I'm just going to kind of set them here for now. Mm. At some point, I'm guessing I will need them, but, oh, look at those stack. That's dangerous. I'm just going to set you right there next to it. Oh, I'm going to set you a little bit further up. There we go. All right. So you are having... I wonder if mm. it tells you... I, I'm still wondering if it tells you how much of each of these you still have. I don't know if there's a way to tell that. I would think there is, but I don't know. You are ready. Thank you very much. We'll take your plate. So you had a chicken breast. And you are all... Oh, you're having a ribeye. Okay. So let's get this plate washed while we can. Because we don't have anything else going on. We'll throw that in there. You are ready to go. Perfect. Thank you very much, Mr. Basketball Champion. <laughs> got the football champion in here earlier. Now we got the basketball champion. All right, so you are all set. There we go. And you are going to have, what are you having? Oh, you're trying the chicken. And you are going to try the ribeye. This is perfect. Got a little bit of everything going on. We've leveled up to level two. How about that? That will be good, I assume. You are ready. Thank you. And we'll take this. I don't know how I feel about this tune. Might be time to switch to a different tune. Let's do that. Um, that's not much of a tune at all. Go to that one. There we go. Uh, you're ready to go. Take your money. Take your plate. Thank you very much. Um, and you are having a good old time over there. Let's get this plate washed up. And we will put this away. Uh, this music's a bit loud. I'm going to go to another one. Uh, okay, fine. We'll do that. <laughs> I'm not going to spend all my time worrying about the music. We'll take care of that another time. Okay. And you are ready to go. Perfect. We'll take your plates. And off you go. And then we'll get you washed up. And hopefully we're not going to need anything else here. I think we'll be in good shape. Um, yeah, you're going to take the last of the chicken. Perfect. That's what we wanted. That's just what we needed. Excellent. So we'll get you squared, squared away. Clean up your plate. And look at all the scrubby bubbles. All nice and pretty. And, oh, good. Uh, please have the chicken. Oh, you wanted ribeye. Boo. We don't have any ribeye. Da. Okay, that's fine. We'll get you some ribeye. I was hoping that one else was going to want ribeye tonight, but apparently so. So, uh, one, two, three, and we're going to get some pepper. Uh, one, two, three. And we're going to set that over there. We're going to throw this on real quick. And this gentleman is ready to go. Gonna get you taken care of. Grab your plates. Throw that in there. Gonna grab a tomato. Put it here. Get it on the skewer. We're gonna put that right on there right now. We're gonna grab this flaming hot skewer. Get it set on the side. Flip you over. And yeah, we're almost there, sir. Just give me a minute. We will have you taken care of. You're gonna walk out, aren't you? I know you are. You're gonna walk out, and I'm gonna have all this ribeye that no one's gonna eat. 
or are you just going to stand there? Okay, just uh, we are making some. We'll have it in just a jiffy. Um, just give us a second, and we'll have it. Ah, uh, there we go. Put it on there, and uh, day is over. Um, please don't leave. Oh, you left, didn't you? Oh, darn it. So, uh, so we made this for nothing. <laughs> but it looks good. Um, all right. We'll put that in there. I wasn't thinking that we were going to need more, but we did. That is unfortunate. So I'm not even going to bother with that because you have left. So, okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. We will take your plate. Get these all cleaned up. We will close the fridge. And I don't know if there's anything we can do with this. I don't think we can put this in the fridge. I'm going to try. It's probably not going to work, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to have some cold ribeye and tomato on there. Because I don't think that it's going to let me save that. Probably not. We'll see whether or not I can save that for morning. It's probably not going to happen. Oh, and I don't have, a, I don't have an ingredient. So that's okay. Because I don't think it's going to stay until morning anyway. But we'll see. All right. And we'll close the fridge up. We will get our dishes all cleaned up and get them put away and that should take care of it there we go one last clean dish and we'll put you away and we're going to turn off the music and we're going to yeah i'm just going to throw this out i don't think that's going to work because it doesn't have the ingredient anyway so that's okay we we weren't going to be using that ribeye anyway so yeah we did lose a little bit of money because we um we had one last customer that wanted ribeye and we didn't have it for him. Oh, well, such is life. What can you do? So we'll turn off our lights. We'll open up our door and we will take one look at our sign that is not lit. Can we light that sign? Probably not. Oh, I forgot to say that the store is closed. So let's see. Um, where is the light switch? Oh, man. Can you not even see it in here? <laughs> where are the lights? Um, I don't know where the light switch is. Uh, it's dark, and I think that means that it's time for us to go home. Is the sign now closed? It is now closed. Okay. Let's open the door, close the door, and let's take a look at things here in the middle of town where it is so nice, and they have lights, and we do not. So you can barely tell that there is our new little kebab restaurant, Rusty Eats. Well, that is going to be it for this one. This is kind of fun. I'm definitely looking forward to doing a little bit more of this. And again, this is a game that you can play multiplayer. So you can play with up to three other players. And like I said, I think it had some new content that just came out here pretty recently. So if you have were playing it in the past and have kind of put it on the side, definitely check it out because I think that they've got some new stuff going on. Um, but that is all for now. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you consider giving the channel a subscribe. But that is all for now. As always, thank you for being a part of all of my silliness. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.